Oh, All right, everybody calm down and look at this right, cute right. little dachshund right here. Uh, we, uh, Scott, you had Simon the Poodle. Here is uh, the, the dachshund, Dennis, who uh, lost a whopping 56 pounds. That was before his owners got him into shape, but boy, his little legs had a hard time getting anywhere. Do you know that more than 50% of all the dogs out there really technically would be considered overweight or even obese? Another dog to show you, here's Rosie the Boston Terrier and Dr. James Spicer here. Thanks for coming in here and giving us some, uh, some tips. Uh, it's not just us who go on the, the New Year's resolutions trying to lose weight. For many dogs, this is a serious health issue. It absolutely is, and as you said, you know, veterinarians see 50% of the dogs we see hmm. and cats. That is sort of surprising. It is surprising, are overweight. And that directly contributes to many different health problems, okay. such as diabetes, uh, osteoarthritis, liver disease, heart disease, um, and disc disease in the long breed, uh, back breeds like we just mm -hmm. saw here with the dachshund and a shorter life as well. I was going to say, I mean, all of that leads to uh, what, what we fight against most for the, for the animals that we love. We, we don't want to see them have a shortened lifespan, and that is really the number one uh, killer. Breathing problems, even, even cancer, right? Exactly. Cancer is even related to being uh, overweight. Mm -hmm. And so the problem that many people have is, well, all breeds look different. How can I tell if my dog or cat is too fat? And the easiest way is to really look up the weight, ideal weight, in a breed book or ask your veterinarian and then weigh your pet. Most cats should weigh between 8 to 12 pounds, but the easiest way to weigh your pet is to simply weigh yourself, pick your pet up, weigh again, and subtract, and that way you can determine what their weight is. Rosie seems to be doing pretty good, right? She's doing okay. Another way is you can feel their thorax here mm -hmm. and feel for the ribs. And if you can easily feel the ribs, you're probably okay. If there's a pretty heavy layer of fat there, then they're probably too heavy. But which is good right now, being as cold as it is outside. Mm -hmm. And I know that has been another big concern for you here, but what are some of the, uh, some of the remedies that you think are, are a quick way? Is it just uh, f fewer cups of food every day? You know, it's diet and exercise. Okay. Diet, there's nothing more pesky than a hungry pet. <laughs> so we, you're not going to lose weight on a regular shelf diet. We have to use a specific diet that's going to bulk them up, suppress their appetite, and yet deliver less calories. The treats are going to have to go on the shelf or no more than maybe two treats a day. And then we have to exercise. Take the dogs out for a 20-minute walk a day or play fetch or play ball. Cats, we can use little toys like this, this feather toy here that we have. <laughs> Yeah, Rosie's or, attention there. Or a, a laser um, light that we what, can what use. What is this uh, picture that we're looking at here? At IndieVet, what we use, we actually have a weight loss program where we actually design the diet. We actually give the exact amount of food to feed, the number of treats, and then we put them in a water treadmill or a dry treadmill to actually give them uh, the amount of uh, exercise that they need. And we figure it all out calorically on what they're spending and what they're eating. And we always get them... Uh, reduce that. All right. The, the takeaway here is if you need help for your pet, it, it is out there. If you'd like more information about Indie Vet Emergency and Specialty Hospital, we've got a link at fox59.com. Rosie, as always, Dr. Spicer, thanks so Thank much. You, Have a, a happy new year. All right. It is 918. Snow is still falling in some places, but the cold is definitely on now. Jim? Yeah, definitely cold outside right now, Ray. Uh, we're beginning to see the snow come to an end now in our northern counties.